Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, on our, on our channel, we've been showing that all around the world, everything is going along as a matrix nearing the end of days, and that the Bible is being played out right in front of us. On the night of the blood moon eclipse and when the Pope was heading back towards going back to Rome, many of the shows that were on last night showed about the New World Order coming and the wrath of the Lamb especially in this move, this TV series here called Once Upon a Time, which is about fairy tale characters and such. But what it shows is the sword coming out of the stone right here for the new Camelot. This sword represents the sword that comes out of Jesus Christ's mouth. Jesus is the stone through there. But they showed right here the new Camelot coming. See, they're getting the sword. Now they also showed about the darkness coming. See this dark spinning thing, as we've been showing, which represents the Revelation 9 -1 -1 beast rising. When the sword comes out of the stone, when the sword comes out of Jesus Christ's mouth, this is all what will happen also, because Jesus will come into the, come in the clouds, and he will judge the world. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace like a Darth Vader darkness. Well, this darkness entered into this one woman through there, and it sh her warning was to not take the sword out of the stone, because it represents World War III and the demons coming out, and Armageddon. As much as we all want our Lord and Savior to come, we all realize that when he does come, the earth is practically going to be broken in half, and demons are going to be released upon the earth, and plagues are going to go all across the earth and everything as we pass over to go to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The earth is going to be hell on earth for all of those years of the wrath of the Lamb and the wrath of God coming. Well, this stuff is all set up and I wanted to show right here, this is Astana, one of the places that's set up for the New World Order. Because for everything to begin, they keep showing there's going to be a giant earthquake and nuclear war starting. And this place in Kazakhstan and in the Colorado Mountains is two of the safest places for them to start their new world order. And it shows right here the sword coming out of the stone, out of Jesus' mouth. This glyph of Akhenaten right here as a sphinx. Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. The very basics of the Bible is Moses versus Ramses. We should have picked all that up and realized the Exodus is the same thing as going with Jesus. This shows the fifth angel coming with the key to open the abyss. The king of the Illuminati. See the five right there? This clown coming to trick the world into idol worship and to take this new Eucharist thing. But right up here is the dog star Sirius, part of God's throne and the star of Bethlehem. Jesus will sit way up here and judge the world. And these are the two arms of God. This is the left hand, the accuser. See him coming down when he's cast down? The right hand is where Jesus Christ sits in the power of God until he goes to the top. You see the magic wand for the rapture event and see the eagle leaving for the woman? the seal to open the abyss, and this is the Russian and China panda bear coming, the wheel of the Great Tribulation. And Jesus will sit way up here and turn the wheel. He's not going to stop the Great Tribulation until its time is up. He's actually going to turn the wheel. In other words, he's going to let all this happen for its time as he harvests the earth. This is like millstone to harvest souls. God have mercy. See the dog? So, the mouth of Jesus Christ will come right through there, and that's where the sword will come from. The stone, it's sitting right here, right in front of you, right now. There it is. See the dog? Do you see the sword stuck in the stone? Right there. God have mercy on us all. This represents the right hand down here, and as they're getting ready to bring that wheel of great tribulation. Realize this. Jesus Christ is not going to stop the new world order. 
He's going to let it turn. He's going to let it happen when it has its time. So he's going to let Camelot rise up. And then Camelot will be destroyed, exactly like it was destroyed last time. Because they couldn't, because King Arthur... Uh, to me, King Arthur was a fool. I mean, he left Guinevere with Lancelot. Let's put it this way. If you want a kingdom, you better have your king and your queen together. Lan uh, Arthur didn't take care of his wife. Not one freaking bit. <laughs> Nothing. He let Guinevere go. He went and got Lancelot. He even had, just anyways. King Arthur did not take care of his kingdom. And they won't take care of it again. Because this is called the great deception brought by Jesus Christ. Jesus is going to let Prince William and all of them rise up. And anybody that goes with them is going to be condemned. And then he will get rid of all of this. And the sword will go back into the lake. Just like happened before. And King Arthur again will fail. Because he's meant to fail. It's a great deception. The wheel of the great tribulation. So there you go. I'll leave you with this scene here. And it's going to show the darkness coming right there. And we can see it started with them taking the sword out of the stone. Like the key to open the abyss. God have mercy on us all. On Sunday, September 27th, once upon a time enters a whole new world. I'm King Arthur of Camelot. Of gallant knights. We've come to find you. You were expecting her. And brave warriors. I'm Merida. The clash of good versus evil has never been this intense. Regina! Well, there had to be another way! It wasn't. The thing was going to kill you. She saved your life. Don't you think I know that? And now she's the dark one. Now she's a problem for all of us. She's still good. I hope so. It's not like she rode off on a unicorn. She got sucked up by a vortex of evil. Where is she? Where's she gone? Doesn't bloody well matter. Mate, down. Get out of my way. Can't find her. I can damn well bring her to me. Dark one, with this dagger I command thee, return! Dark one, appear! Put that thing down before you hurt yourself, Guideliner. I thought you knew the dagger's rules. With it, I can summon the Dark One from any corner of the world. Well, there's your answer. She's not in this world.